Hello, everybody. Welcome to another lesson. Well, this is the online version. Uh, make sure you turn on the subtitles, uh, Korean, Mongolian, Vietnamese, whatever you need. Uh, we're almost at the end of semester one. As you can see, it's 5B. So we have two more, 6A and 6B after this. And just make sure you're doing a little bit of homework. Um, if the homework is easy, you can stop. But the homework is there to show you how much you know and how much more you need to study. So let's get started. Um, yeah, let's let's just do it. So I'm going to disappear to make the screen look a little nicer, but you can still hear me. All right, here we go. Here are some vocabulary. So it says here, read the six tips, pay attention to the words in blue, use your dictionary to help you. Well, that's where I hope the subtitles uh, help you, right? So which tips are good, put a check, which are bad, write, you know, don't on the line. So first one, drink six to eight glasses of water. It's good for you. So that's a check. That's good. Drink a lot of soda. It's high in sugar. Well, that's bad, right? It's high in sugar. Well, don't drink a lot of soda. Eat healthy snacks between meals. Okay, well, I guess that's a check. So eat healthy snacks uh, between meals. Meals are things like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Eat a lot of cake and candy. It tastes good, but it's unhealthy, right? So this one's going to be don't, right? Don't eat a lot of cake and candy. Eat a good breakfast. It gives you energy. That's good. Check. Eat a lot of food before bedtime. No, that's bad, right? So don't eat a lot of food before bedtime. And just to focus on the expressions, good for you, opposite, bad for you. High in sugar, opposite, low in sugar. Healthy and unhealthy, okay? Now down here, answer the questions, right? Uh, you know, water is good for you. What other drinks are good for you? I'll be honest, nothing. Okay. Um, I'm old. I do a little research. Water is pretty much the only drink that's good for you. Uh, don't drink fruit juice, just eat fruit. Uh, soda is high in sugar. What other foods or drinks are high in sugar? Like I just said, juice, don't drink juice. Um, it's just sugar. It's slightly healthier than soda. Give one example of a healthy snack. Well, that's easy. Uh, cucumber, uh, apples, basically fruits and vegetables. What foods or drinks give you energy? Well, coffee, of course, tea. Um, but again, for your own health, don't drink those energy drinks. All right. So here we go. Uh, two powerful foods. All right. So let's listen to this. It's quite interesting. It's chili peppers. Two powerful foods. Chili peppers are a type of fruit from the Americas. People first used them over 6,000 years ago. Today, people all over the world, from Mexico to Thailand, are using chilies in their cooking. Chili peppers taste good, but they're also good for us. They're high in vitamin C. This keeps you healthy. Many chilies are also spicy. This spice gives you energy. It also makes you less hungry, so you eat less. Doctors think chili peppers can stop some kinds of cancer, too. Licorice, a type of plant, comes from Southern Europe and Asia. Today, when people hear the word licorice, they think of candy. In fact, Licorice is in some sweet foods like candy and drinks like soda, but it is also a very old medicine. 2,000 years ago, people used licorice for colds and other illnesses. Today, it is still in some cold medicines. People also use it for stomach and skin problems. Some doctors think licorice, like chili peppers, can help people with cancer. Okay. Um, so again, just 
these key vocabulary. Oranges and lemons are high in, that expression again, high in vitamin C. Medicine, right? Something you drink or eat to stop an illness. Okay, so let's go over here. And here it says down here. So find and underline the underlined words in the dictionary. Um, just again, if the subtitles are on, you can see this, right? You've got illness, cancer, a cold, right? All are very bad, right? And where is your stomach? Well, stomach, stomach. It's where your food goes. Where is your skin? Well, it's all over your body. All right, so let's do these ones. So read the article and circle your answer. Again, if you're watching this video, you can go back and check those out. But let's show you the answers. What does the article say about chilies and licorice? Well, they're both good for you. Chilies are good for you, but licorice is bad for you. People don't use old foods a lot today. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. It's A, right? They're both good for you. Okay, so there's the answer there. And here, take notes, read the answers to questions one to three about food and why, right? So read here, read about licorice. Where does licorice come from? All right. It comes from, you know, Eastern Europe. How do, how do people use it today? Well, they use it for medicine. They also use it in candy. Why it is good for you? Well, it basically helps stop things like cancer and other diseases. Okay, so there's the answers there. Again, if you want to read the article, this is where they focus on it, right? It's from Europe, right? It's in candy, right? It's in sweet foods. It's in old medicine, right? 2,000 years ago, that's when they first started. Okay, so, but this is not really important. Let's get on to the listening and the grammar. So first, listening, how many times do you have breakfast in a week? circle the answer. Well, I hope it's seven. Um, but some people do very well with zero, kind of inter intermittent fasting. But that's not important. Let's move on to the listening. Students are not always healthy eaters. Read the sentences, guess the answers, then listen to check your answer. So it's always good to guess because you will catch listening more. So here we go. You will hear the speaker talk about skipping breakfast. What does that mean? right? To skip breakfast means to mm, breakfast. Skipping breakfast is mm, mm, you. All right, let's check those answers. Here we go. Do you know what skip breakfast means? It means to not have any breakfast. Maybe you only have a cup of coffee and that's it. You don't eat a full meal. When you skip breakfast, it's a bad start to the day. Breakfast is an important meal. It gives you a lot of energy for the day. Some students skip breakfast. They are very busy, and they don't have time to eat anything. Other students don't like to eat breakfast. They say food doesn't taste good in the morning. They skip breakfast, too. Is skipping breakfast bad for students? The answer is yes. Okay, so there's the answers there, but I will show them to you. So skip breakfast means you, you know, you don't not have or don't eat breakfast. Skipping breakfast is bad for you. Okay, so there's the answers there. Now let's do the second part or here at C. What does the speaker say about breakfast? Read the sentences, then listen and write your answers. Breakfast is an important mm. It gives you a lot of mm for the day. Uh, mm breakfast has many different types of foods. The foods are in vitamins. Okay, let's listen to that one. Do you know what skip breakfast means? It means to not have any breakfast. Maybe you only have a cup of coffee, and that's it. You don't eat a full meal. When you skip breakfast, it's a bad start to the day. 
Breakfast is an important meal. It gives you a lot of energy for the day. Some students skip breakfast. They are very busy, and they don't have time to eat anything. Other students don't like to eat breakfast. They say food doesn't taste good in the morning. They skip breakfast, too. Is skipping breakfast bad for students? The answer is yes. When students skip breakfast, they eat more snacks. A healthy breakfast has many different types of foods. The foods are high in vitamins. Most snacks do not give you energy. They are bad for you. When students skip breakfast, they are tired. They don't do well in school, and they have less energy. Do you skip breakfast? That may not be a good idea. So let's check those answers out. Okay. Breakfast is an important meal. It gives you a lot of energy for the day. A healthy breakfast has many different types of foods. The foods are high in vitamins. There you go. All right, now here's the last part. So listen, circle the two answers for each question. The key here is two answers. So why do students skip breakfast? They like lunch more, they're busy, it doesn't taste good. How do they feel? They're tired, they're sad, they have less energy. Okay, let's listen to this. Some students skip breakfast. They are very busy and they don't have time to eat anything. Other students don't like to eat breakfast. They say food doesn't taste good in the morning. They skip breakfast too. Is skipping breakfast bad for students? The answer is yes. When students skip breakfast, they eat more snacks. A healthy breakfast has many different types of foods. The foods are high in vitamins. Most snacks do not give you energy. They are bad for you. When students skip breakfast, they are tired. They don't do well in school and they have less energy. Do you skip breakfast? That may not be a good idea. Okay, and let's check those out. Okay, so why do students skip breakfast? Well, they're busy or it doesn't taste good. How do they feel? They're tired and they have less energy. Okay, so I hope you caught all those. I'm going to close them and go over to the grammar. Here we go. So read uh, Unit 5, Lesson B Grammar, reference in appendix, right? So we can do that after. But basically, we're just focusing on like, right? And kind of yes, no questions. So yes, no questions. Do you or do they or do we or does he, right? Does he, does she? And then just like spicy food. And then, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Yes, they do, or no, they don't. Yes, we do, or no, we don't. Okay. And then, yes, he or she does, no, he or she doesn't. So what's the difference? Well, you, they, I, we, right? And then just like but it's the same, but for he and she, does he or she. And where this gets challenging is, does your, does your father, does your mother, does your brother, does your sister, does your, um, maybe your friend, okay? And then like, and then yes or no, and then here it is again. Yes, he does, or no, he or she doesn't. All right, so this one here, uh, this would be fun to do in class, but has a lot of energy in the morning. So you would, in the classroom, you'd ask your partners, like, do you have a lot of energy in the morning? Yes. And then someone says, yes, I do. Then you write their name. Uh, someone, do you always eat your vegetables? And then, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. So you keep going down the list and you would ask yes, no questions, right? Do you take vitamins? 
Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Uh, eats in a restaurant once a week. Has coffee with breakfast. Likes Chinese food. Cooks simple meals. Eats a healthy snack after school. Likes dinner more than lunch. And then one more idea. Now, you can see the S here. But when you're asking somebody, you would say, do you have a lot of energy? Do you always eat no S, their vegetable, your vegetables? Do you take vitamins? Do you eat in a restaurant once a week? Do you have coffee with breakfast? Do you like Chinese food? Do you cook simple meals? Do you eat healthy snack after school? Do you like dinner more than lunch? And then your own idea. So I just want to show you that this is kind of he or she has, right? He or she. But when you ask someone directly, you use the have, eat, take, eat, have, like, cook, eat, like. That's what you would use when you're actually asking someone directly. Okay, so let's go to the grammar. Okay, and pause the video if you want. Okay, and right, do you like spicy food? No, I don't. Do they speak English? Yes, they do. Does he have breakfast with his family? No, he doesn't. Do you have a test today? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Does your mother, right? Because it's a she, does your mother cook well? Yes, she does. Do you and your friend eat lunch together? Right, so do, and then no, we don't. There's the answers there. Okay, now I'm going to close this and go to the next one. So complete the conversation with yes, no questions. It's quite long, right? So again, give it a pause, pause the video, try to do these. But I'm going to show you the answers in three, two, one. Here we go. So here we go. What are what are you eating? Pasta with chocolate sauce. Interesting. Really? And then, does it taste good? Yes, it does. Do you want some? Do you know Jamie Oliver? No, I don't. Who is he? He's a famous chef from England. Oh, yeah? Does he have a show on TV? Yes, he does. It's on Channel 4. My parents want to go to a nice restaurant. Do you know a good place? Do they like spicy food? No, they don't. Oh, okay. Well, do they eat sushi? Yes, they do. They love it. Try Uman Sushi. It's a good place. Okay, so there's the answers for those. All right, so let me take you back here. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, well, actually, let's finish on that one. So the next part, you know, kind of active English speaking. Don't worry, we will do our own type of speaking in class. Uh, let me show you my face one more time. Do, 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 do. There, there I am. So as I said at the beginning, make sure you do a little bit of homework to be comfortable with the grammar and the listening and the reading. As you know, those will be on the final exam. And of course, if you have any questions, send me a message on Smart LMS, ask me in class or send me an email. I always put my contact information on the handouts in class. So that's it for today. Uh, see you next time and have a great day. Bye-bye.